how the history, how how man came up with this. Just give me one moment here. You see it, brother? Yeah, I'm trying to get it open up. Okay. I thought I knew it by heart. It might be chapter six. It might be six. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I think it's Second Timothy six and one. I, I, I can almost guarantee you. It's Second Timothy. Oh, no, man, no six and Second Timothy. Hold on, one second. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna have issues with that man because they believe in science. Yeah, that's the thing. But we gotta hit him with the site, uh, what the scripture said about that. I can't believe it. I can't remember it. There it is. I got it. I'm sorry, it's 1 Timothy 6 and 20. I don't know what I was thinking. And what it says is, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babylons and oppositions of science, falsely so-called. All right? O Timothy, God, and keep the deposit and trust you. Turn away from the brethren of Babylon, God is shattered with the vain and empty worldly phrases and the substitutes and the contradictions in what is falsely called. Wow. So this is an old Bible. It, this is an amplified Bible. This is a, I got the King James on one side, and this is a Bible that I had in World Changes. They made a, they, they told all us, you know, go get your amplified. You know the pastor had one, so we had to go get one. But I'm pretty familiar with the King James part of this. You know what I'm saying? So I had to crack it back open. But I'm just looking over in the, in the amplified part of it. And let me just read that to you one more time. In the King James. Then I'll then I read the amplified to you. It says, uh, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane, profane and vain babylons and oppositions of science falsely so-called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee, amen. So the scripture letting you know that some people have erred because of the science, because of their vain babbling. All right? So let's go see what the, uh, let's go see what the Amplified say. It says, O Timothy, guard and keep the deposit entrusted to you. Turn away from the irreverent, irreverent babble and godless chatter with the vain and empty and worldly phrases and the subtleties and the contradictions and what is falsely called knowledge and spiritual illumination. So we see the scripture in the Amplified calls it spiritual, falsely called knowledge. So that science is, is false. That theory, that so-called theory is called knowledge. Falsely called knowledge. 21. For by making such profession, some have erred or miss the mark as regards the faith, concerning the faith. Grace, divine favor, and blessing be with you all. Amen. So be it. So we're just letting y'all know that it did not exist. That's a science that has been a lie. Uh, can y'all get that news? Yeah, so that's that's a that's a a science that mainly has is a lie to see the whole world. I'm drinking soda. Alright, so let's go here and let's read the history book here. Now, from superstition, stu superstition to science, it says the earth moves. It was not until the 16th century that man first began seriously to question the theory of Ptolemy. Unchallenged for more than 1,000 years that the earth was the center of the universe. So at some point, the earth was the center of the universe, okay? It was unchallenged for a thousand years. Nobody ever said nothing because it was all in one accord. All right? The Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus was the first man to work out in 1533 that the Earth must move around the sun. So this is some man by himself saying that the Earth got to move around the sun. And I, I begin to wonder, why would he say that? I mean, we know they was worshiping the sun a lot, so they just had to put that emphasis on the sun. And the scripture told us uh, uh, Jeremiah 10, learn not to wear the heathen, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Okay? Then it says here, um, his work was followed up by a Danish astronomer, Tycho Brahe, 
who although he did not accept Copernicus' theory, Copernicus's theory produced the first systematic star maps, Brahe's observations were used by his German colleague Johannes Kepler, who went on to work out laws governing planetary motion and so supplied the missing links in the findings of Copernicus. Okay? So they all made this up. They found some missing links and then to, to make it agree. Alright? But from the beginning, it never happened like that. It never happened like that. We can look in the scripture and show how the earth was made and then the Lord put the, the sun up. Then the moon up to divide. Divide. You understand what I'm saying? But when the earth was there, it didn't have anything. It was no light there. It was just there. It was darkness. And then he put the two lights. One matter of fact, you want to go see it right quick? Genesis? Mm -hmm. Let's go see it right quick. Genesis. Uh, let's see. Start it on. Um, who you want to start it on? First, first chapter? I mean, first verse? Hmm. Okay. In the front. Go to go to verse one. Go to ver verse one. Then we're gonna drop down to what is that? Twelve. Hmm. What is that? Twelve. Mm, twelve. Nah, nah. That's fourteen, right? Yeah. Okay. So go to verse one first. Okay. Go ahead. In the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth. Right, so in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, okay? All right, so the earth was here, heaven was here, all right? God created the heaven and the earth, all right? So we see that according to the scripture. All right, read on. And the earth was without form. So the earth, was, it was without form, go ahead. And void. Uh-huh. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Go ahead. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Right, so we see that the earth, it was already dark. It was dark, so there was nothing else needed for the earth to do. It didn't have to, it didn't, it didn't, the earth didn't have to go move around something. The Lord made it and it was set in a place. He didn't say he made it and set it on the axle. He made the heaven and the earth. That means if the earth moved, then heaven got to move. Right? If earth move, heaven got to move. Because when you go outside, you see heaven and earth. So that means, when you, if this earth is moving, then heaven is moving. Not so. Not? Heaven meaning the constellation, the star. Right, and then all, right, the constellation, then also above. You understand what I'm saying? But the ones he talking about is heaven and earth, the, the constellations. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Above us. Mm -hmm. All right? Not and you and you can't say the you can't like up there in the sky you know what I'm saying we can't say that's moving because it, it don't say it you know what I'm saying they just say that that sun and the what's the name stop mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. go ahead the sun and the moon stop they didn't say the stars and all that mm. keep on keep going and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters mm -hmm. and God said. Let there be light. Uh -huh. And there was light. Go ahead. And God saw the light mm -hmm. that it was good. Mm -hmm. And God divided the light from the darkness. Right. So he, if he divided the light from the darkness, then evidently it had nothing to do with the earth moving. He said, let there be light. Okay. And when he said, let there be light, then it had the, the light had to come. The earth didn't move. He said, let there be light. So light had to come. It wasn't. It, it wasn't the earth. I mean, he would have. Don't, don't you think a God, a, a God that is responsible for the creation? Don't you think that he would have let us know that he turned the earth a certain way to move around the sun? Because in this instance right here, the sun wasn't even there. We ain't even got to the sun yet. You understand what I'm saying? So how could it, it, it couldn't, we ain't even got to the sun yet. Mm -hmm. Or the moon. Mm -hmm. So what was it moving around? What was it rotating around? Mm -hmm. 
They weren't rotating around them. They couldn't even run because it wasn't even there yet. We ain't even got to it. Yeah. Right? That's what it, I mean. That's what it say, right? Going by the scripts. Going by the scripts. So now, let's go and see when that came about. All right, let's go to, uh, now, okay, let me, let me explain something. God said, let there be firmament in the midst of the waters. And God called the light day and the darkness. He called uh, night and the evening and the morning were the first day. Okay, let's see here. All right, the firmament. Let's see here. God made, there we go. That's it, 16. Now, now, we see this, right? We uh, God, uh, verse 10, God called the dry land earth and the gathering together the waters called he seed and God saw that it was good. So even at this time, it was still light outside. No sun, no earth. I mean, no sun, no moon yet. But it was light outside while, while they was getting this taken care of. All right, go ahead. Go down, uh, what did it say, 12? After the earth brought forth grass, 14. God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So now we're talking about the, the stars. Yeah, we're talking about the constant, the, you know, the stars. Right, now we're yeah. talking about the stars and stuff, right? Constellations. Now, 16, and God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day. And the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Right, he made the stars also. So so we got to figure out what was that uh, God said, let it be for a and let it be for signs of a season and for days. I don't know what that is. We'll find that out. Right now we're dealing with the sun and the moon. We just want to show you that the earth was there. And then he put the sun and the moon there. Mm -hmm. he's, not gonna, he's not going to put the sun and the moon there and then put the earth and then make the earth revolve around the sun and the moon. You understand what I'm saying? He put the earth there and then put the sun and the moon there to divide the, 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 the two great lights. The, the one was for the daytime, which was the sun. One was for the evening or the nighttime, which was the moon. And it went around the earth. You understand? Because the earth was of importance. Earth was great. Earth is still great. That's why he gonna come and dwell on this earth. That's why the scriptures say, thy kingdom come on earth. So you realize the importance of the earth and how God wants to dwell with man on earth. All right? So the sun and the moon move around the earth. The earth does not move around the sun. Okay? You just want to cut that and kill that. Get this book, and it's called The Last Two Million Years, Reader's Digest. You can get it for like a dollar. Might have to pay three dollars for shipping and handling, but most you're gonna pay a four dollar. All right. Um. So another point I want to go to, man. Uh, this morning, I was listening. I got it this morning, and I was, you know, studying. And I happened, to, I happened to see Creep, Creep Low Dollar uh, on TV this morning. And I noticed something about this guy, this brother. And I gotta call him a brother because he is Israelite, no matter what. But the Lord gonna deal with. Him. Um. Today I noticed how when he was speaking today, he, he was, it was live. So I was checking it out, I was just watching, you know, I was like, I mean, does this guy have any heart whatsoever, man? I mean, like, is he gonna say anything at some point? Like, when, is he ever gonna come out? But from the looks of it, don't look like he ever gonna come out. I mean, he's just gonna keep deceiving the people. But I noticed what he was talking about today, because I listened to like 20 minutes of it, painfully. 20 minutes and I listen so I can cut that doctrine but he went into a rant about black men okay and it really pissed me off man I mean it really upset me how he went and just down the black man okay he was talking about how the black man and he wasn't saying the black man but he did say in the lesson after he got you know people to agree with him and laugh with him you know, he was like, you know, you ain't even taking care of your child. You ain't got no money. You broke. But yet still, you calling her fat nigga rope. That's what he said. The church started clapping and laughing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, but not one time did he come out and say anything about the hoarders of the sisters in the church. Not one time did he come out and say anything about, uh, 
this is a 